Martin, this airplane and your T-Bird came in together from Texas as a flight of two. This airplane was in the Turkish Air Force for 20 years. Fort Wayne Air Service here completely went over this airplane almost to the tune of a year and now Dean Cutchell, the owner of this airplane, is, is flying it pretty regularly. Again, they're just getting ready, doing their pre-flight checks for the start. This is the only two-place F-100 still, fly still flying in the United States. The only one. This is the second flight today, so they're just doing their pre-flight checks. I'm sure Dean is giving somebody in the back seat his first F-100 ride. I'm going to come around to F-100 and you'll see your T-Bird in the background there. So we're all kind of in one area as far as warbirds and uh, this time of year it gets uh, pretty busy with people coming out of hibernation, getting ready for the air show season. They should be ready to crank with this airplane in a, in a minute or two. Out.
the F-100 coming back on a pass. Afterburner. Ooh. Nice shot if I could just find the airplane. There it is. Great pass, about a hundred feet off the deck with the afterburner. Well, there's the F-100. He just came by, did an afterburner go around, and he's back on base to final. I'm going to try and follow him here. It's hard to follow. He's turning final, for, turning final for runway three two at two at Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne. Let's see if he makes a pass or an approach to landing. The only two-seat F-100F civilian flying. I believe this will be a full stop, but you never know about Dean. Should be about 165 knots there, down and dirty. Hundred and sixty-five in range. I don't know if he'll use his, yeah, drag chute, there it is. Speed brakes are out. Nineteenth, nineteen ninety nine, out for an hour and an hour and uh, about fifteen minutes. And here they are back again. <laughs> 